what is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to tech Karen YouTube channel pixel experience plus edition official pixel experience plus edition is here for the redmi note 8 users it's unified builds so it can be installed on redmi note 8 and redmi note 8t both of the devices it's based on android version 11 with the latest april security patch the thing is this build is actually quite good quite fast and satisfactory and you can use this build on your device as your daily driver because this room doesn't consist of many features so if you are a user who loves to use some customizations then this room unfortunately is not for you you can try out their alternatives evolution x ancient tours resurrection remix there are many custom rooms available with huge customizations this room doesn't include any kind of customizations first of all we're going to talk about the default launcher it comes with the pixel launcher and if you're looking to install a custom room with all the pixel goodies or you can say the features which you get in the pixel device then this room is this might be for you because it comes with all the pixel goodies pixel apps it has the pixel launcher pre-installed pixel launcher has some bit of features but doesn't include any kind of other features for example the app log and also doesn't include other customizations which you sometimes get in the launcher launcher and in other custom rooms their own launcher quick step launcher and else like that but everything else is kind of same it has all the pixel apps actually available first of all we're going to talk about the geek pen score because this matters a lot for some of the users it comes with the 307 single core score and 1287 is the multi core score actually scores doesn't matter a lot but the thing is some users want to see this and as you can see single core is kind of same multi core has only a simple difference or you can say 1286 is the average one we're getting 1287 which is not actually that much so it's not bad single core comparison here we have our device is not looking that bad and multi core is also kind of same doesn't matter a lot by the way but still if you want to use this and you want to experience some interesting kind of things interesting kind of performance this room is good for you the performance seems to be good one and the camera is also actually good if you're a user who doesn't want to compromise with the camera then this is a very good thing that you come it comes with the MIUI camera pre-installed doesn't come with the ANX camera or you can see the MIUI 12 camera is not there but only the MIUI 11 camera is present here if the MIUI 11 camera is present there the features are not same if you compare it with the MIUI 12 or MIUI 12.5 features are less but the thing is it has the lenses available and working if you're a MIUI camera lover then you can install this thing but the thing is gcam option is still available for you if you're looking to install gcam you can try out but safety and status which matters a lot is passing successfully if you want to use the banking apps on your device you can pass a safety status without any issues but yes if you are still getting some issues like magisk api error and something like that i already made a fixed video on that so make sure to check out that and also if you don't want to use magisk on your device you will get by default safeness status pass and device is certified so that you will be able to use the banking apps there are no issues there but if you even use magisk you don't need to use any kind of module for that you simply need to move on to the magisk settings and here you will simply need to enable the magisk hide option and everything else is just kind of same everything else is good here let me show you some other things first of all the device is certificate certified or not because it matters a lot simply move on to play store and settings as you can see the device is certified as i previously mentioned you don't need to you, you don't need to root your device to pass the safety and status and device is certified this is by default but if you want to use magisk then you need to use the magisk hide option to pass the safety net status everything else is just fine device is certified by default you will not face any kind of issues there is multitasking option which is just working perfectly fine full screen gestures are working perfectly fine this room is actually good but doesn't come with any features as i previously mentioned you it comes with all the same features it comes with the google assistant option also available for you and the features like the notification history which are present in android version 11 are already present here battery backup seems to be decent enough it does not can it doesn't contain any kind of extra features so battery backup is also a bit of improved there but but it, it just matters how you use your device, how much time you use your device with gaming 
and others like that many things to consider before checking out the proper and actual battery backup on your device this is pixel experience plus version so yes some features are the status bar related customization and we have the network traffic monitor clock brightness quick settings which you don't get in the pixel experience normal edition but everything else is kind of same doesn't include many features these were the things i just wanted to let you know and the link for this build is in the description if you're a redmi note 8 user simply install this build on a device and just reboot or if needed you can format data this is all thanks for watching goodbye Yeah